The year is 1585, and perched high up on a bluff in her regal and royal armor for battle, Queen Elizabeth I stands and she looks out over the, her navy and the English Channel. They're here to battle with a Spanish armada who's known for their might. But as her people in the navy go out to meet the Spanish armada, they look back, they see their queen, and they say, long live the queen. Yes, they, they say, long live the queen, and then they say, God save the queen. I want to show you something here. This is a U.S. dollar, a U.S. Federal Reserve note. And when you look at this uh, particular bill closely, you'll find on the back that it says, in God we trust. Now, besides not having enough of these, <laughs> and many people don't notice what it says on the currency. In God we trust. But now, do they really trust in Jehovah? Do they really trust in God? Well, we know that despite them saying, God saved the queen, and in God we trust, the nations displace their confidence because they rely not on Jehovah, not on God for strength, but they rely on their own wisdom and strength to govern their actions instead of supporting the king and his kingdom. Political leaders gather together against Jehovah and his anointed king. If you turn in your Bibles to Isaiah, you're going to look at Isaiah chapter.